Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Dave Free and welcome back. Today we're doing something a little bit different, so forgive me for this one because I need to get my environment all set up and all that stuff. But what we're doing, we have a Legacy Dex 2 Yu-Gi-Oh! Trading Card Game box. Uh, this one features the decks for Joey, Kaiba, and Yugi. We also have the movie exclusive Obelisk the Tormentor. I'm gonna try to get some better lighting in here in just a moment. And I also have mine that's unopened. So this one I'm borrowing from my brother because he didn't mind to open his, but I'm, I don't think I'm gonna open mine. So if you want to see the movies, Dark Side of Dimensions, you got that. Let me know your thoughts on the movie. And uh, if you guys are interested in review, I'd be more than happy to do that. But this, that being said, this is the box we're gonna be opening in this video. So be sure to punch the subscribe button if you're new and leave a like if you want more unboxings. And we'll try to just bring a little bit more diversity to the channel. I'm holding the camera on this. So forgive me if like it gets a little wobbly. I'm trying not to make it a little wobbly. Uh, let me go ahead and flip that over. So let's see what we have here. Konami, uh, Yugi Exodia deck, Kaiba Blue Eyes deck, and the Joey Red Eyes deck. Exodia, the Forbidden One, Blue Eyes White Dragon, and Red Eyes Dragon, uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon, excuse me, rebuilt for the modern dueling era. Okay, let's go ahead and, matter of fact, let me just, uh, just a sec. Turn on a little lighter here. Okay, cool. Got a little bit better. Not much, but a little. Okay, so I've actually already ripped off the Konami seal just for simplicity purposes. So, Okay. <laughs> so, this is what we have. So, on the left is Maiden with the wide. With the with eyes of blue, excuse me, I couldn't see the the name. We've got the special dark burning attack, and there's another card in here, Slifer, because it comes with all three Egyptian gods and the Black Stone of Legend. Let's go ahead and start off with the dark burning attack stuff. Okay, and then we'll look at Obelisk after that limited edition Obelisk from the movie set. I'm gonna go ahead and set this here. Okay. I have to use my teeth for that. I'm not very good at uh, opening packages. Okay. That's Dark Burning Attack. If you control the Dark Magician Girl, destroy all face-up monsters your opponent controls. So that's really good if you have her on the field. Oh, there's a couple more cards in here. Let's see what they do. So the next one is Dark Burning Magic. It's another Dark Magician Girl centric card. This one is from the movie, I believe, or something similar. If you control monsters whose original names are Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl, destroy all cards on your, your opponent controls. So you have to have both of them for that one. That's cool. An Eternal Soul. Uh, the lighting just got a little worse. I'm outside. Uh, it's why a little echoey, but I'm outside. So there's that. So this one says, every Dark Magician in your monster card zone is unaffected by your opponent's card effects. If this face-up card leaves the field, destroy all monsters you control. You can only use the following effect of Eternal Soul once per turn. It's a continuous trap card. Special summon one Dark Magician from your hand. Add one Dark Magic Attack or Thousand Knives from your deck to your hand. So, totally Dark Magician stuff, Dark Magician Girl stuff. This is Obelisk. You guys know what Obelisk does. Just more or less it's that beautiful art, that hollow all the way around the card. The name is holographic, everything. Beautiful, limited edition movie pack. So, yeah, I'm gonna keep mine sealed, but let's go ahead and look at the Kaiba deck. Okay. Where's the, it's right here, okay. Man, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I actually just started buying them again. It's a lot smaller than I remember. Okay, same thing again, just a sec. There it is, okay, I found it. I had to use two hands to find it. A little tab. There we go. Okay. Wow, these cards feel great, literally. So, what do we have here? Made it with Eyes of Blue. The Melody of Awakening Dragon. Ooh, Lord of Deed, not bad. Blue Eyes is right here. Ultimate course. Is this a non-hollow blue eyes? It is. Wow. Okay. 
I just remember the old ones that are holographic. Blue Eyes again, the alternate art. Oh, snap, drop multiples, drop multiples. But yeah, here's the third one, alternate art. Dragon Spirit of White. Kai the Man, of course, because you need him in a Blue Eyes deck. The White Stone of Legend. If this card is sent to the graveyard, add one Blue Eyes. I haven't seen that card before. That's really good. The White Stone of Ancients. I assume that you do similar concept. Protected with Eyes of Blue. A Tuner Monster. Okay. So they have Blue Eyes tuners. I stopped playing the game around Teledad and Dark Arm Dragon decks and all that stuff when that was the meta. Battle Ox. La Jean. Oh, Horse Raider. Alexanderite Dragon. Oh, this is upside down, okay. Eh. Rider of the Storm Winds. Dragon Tuner, not bad. Blade Knight. Ancient Lamp. Tiger Dragon. Oh, Kimoto Dragon. King of the Swamps, really solid unit. Card. Burst Stream of Destruction, really good spell when you're running Blue Eyes, Beacon of White, Mausoleum of White, <laughs> everything is white and, and eyes of blue. Polymerization, Enemy Controller, Shrink, Silent Doom, Ancient Rule, Trade-In. A lot of these I'm familiar with, a lot of them I'm not because you know they come out recently. Where Art Thou? Pot of Dictomy, I don't know what that does, but we'll figure it out. At the start of your main phrase, target three monsters with different types in your graveyard, shuffle all three into the deck, then draw two cards. You cannot conduct your battle phase the turn you activate this card. Oh, okay. Fusion Substitute. Unexpected Die, Negate Attack, Final Attack Orders, Shadow Spell, Cloning, Fusion Reserve, Jar of Avarice, and then we have a Synchro Blue Eyes Dragon. Silver Dragon, excuse me. Azurai Silver Dragon. First of the Dragons. And the Kaiba Token. Ooh, girl. So that's the Kaiba deck. I'm just gonna move it off to the side here. I don't want it to get scratched up too bad or anything like that. Now, this I presume is a Yugi deck because it has a Slifer. I found the tab right there. I didn't see it the first time, so forgive me for that. It is still kind of weird doing it with one hand though. Especially with my offhand, I'm left-handed, so let's switch again. I've gotta hold the camera. Ugh. Wow. Okay. Got it that time. Yeah, I need a mount. I need a freaking camera mount. I had one, I just couldn't find it. Got it. Okay, Yugi deck, Slifer, Ooh, girl, OG Slifer art. Right. We have Obelisk, the Winged Dragon of Raw. These cards used to be so rare, now they just give them away. All right, all three of the guys, just kind of sit them over there. That, ooh, girl. Hashtag grilling it in the comments. All right, the legendary Exodia Incarnate. Man, the lighting keeps coming and going because the sun is coming and going. It's cloudy. Okay, Ties of the Brethren. Obliterate. And then we get the Exodia pieces. Exodia Necros, didn't expect to see him in there. Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, not hollows. Buster Blade are not hollow. Silent Magician combo is not hollow. I mean, of course, they're not gonna give me everything hollow, right? But I'm just pointing out that I'm used to these cards being hollows. The Tricky, Big Shield Gardena. Ooh, my Magician Valkyria from that first movie. Blast Magician. Lock man. Oh, Marshmallow from the first movie again. I love Marshmallow. Sangan, Gold Sarcophagus, which is kind of what the box is, right? Uh, Swords of Revealing Light, Magical Dimension, Magicians Unite, Tricky Spell, and Thousand Knives. 
Dark Magic Attack. Contract with Exodia for Exodia Necros. Messenger of the Peace. Uh, Monster Reincarnation and Dark Factory of Mass Production. Secret Village of the Spellcasters. We have Pot of Duality. Mirror Force, which is always good. Magical Hats, Magic Cylinder, Magician's Circle, Backup Soldier, Gravity Bind, and the Yugi Token. Yugi Toku Sentai! Can you force rules? Can you force rules? Uh, okay, so that's the Yugi lot, the Yugi pile. So let's move on to the Joey Wheeler. Okay, last one. I need to find the. Uh, I don't see it. Oh, there it is. It was a lot more visible on the Yugi one than it was on either of the other ones. You can tell I don't do this often, but it's going to become a regular thing if it gets good reception. Otherwise, I just got some cool cards. Get out! Okay, the Black Stone of Legend. Return of the Red Eyes, haven't seen that one. And this one is Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. It's kind of black and then with the black, but the lighting is really bad. So I'm trying to show you guys, there you go. Good view of them there. Red Eyes Black Dragon, the old art, or the, the not the old art, the newer art. Red Eyes Black Flare Dragon. Red Eyes Retro Dragon, Red Eyes Arch Fiend of Lightning, Gemini Unit, not bad. Black Metal Dragon, Axe Raider, Alligator Sword, Baby Dragon, Ginzo Ningen. Not used, I'm used to him being a hollow too. Goblin Attack Force, Garfield. We have you, Rocket Warrior, Time Wizard, Blue Flame Swordsman. Uh, Phoenix Gear Free, Gemini Summoner, Blazewing Butterfly, Dark Valkyria, Command Knight, Valkyrian Knight, Keeper of the Shrine, Inferno Fire Blast, Red Eyes Fusion, Cards of the Red Stone, Polymerization, Salamandra, Scapegoat, Foolish Burial, Roulette Spider, Supervise, Mystical Space Typhoon, Symbols of Duty, Red Eye Spirit, Kunai with Chain, Call of the Haunted, Torrential Tribute, Burst Breath, Curse of Anubis, and then we get into the fusions, the extra deck, Archfiend, Black Skull Dragon, and Alligator Sword Dragon. Hey, I'm sorry about that, the, war, the recording cut out, but let's just continue. We were at Alligator Sword Dragon, and then lastly, the Joey Token, the Joey Token. So with the Joey token, basically, um, with the tokens, we have wrapped up the entirety of the box. There's nothing else really in there. We've got the Joey deck, the Kaiba deck, which is kind of like right here. Just lighting keeps coming and going. It's really annoying. Uh, and then we have the Yugi deck all over the place. And then the God cards have fallen down. I obviously need to work on my setup, so I will. But that's legacy of the Duelists, legendary decks, Two, not like to see the duelist, but it felt cool saying that. Um, and then we have the special cards and of course the obelisk. So leave a like if you enjoy, if you want more, if you want different types of unboxings, let me know down below in the comments. Also thoughts on the Dark Side of Dimensions movie, if you want a review for that, let me know as well. Once again, I'm sorry for the setup on this. I'm sorry for the background noise. I'm sorry for the fact that I sound a little echoey. It's just my first time doing it and I'll figure it out in the next couple times. But yeah, thanks for tuning in today and I'll catch you guys later.